Hi guys, yeah, with our uh, video series tutorial for ladder logic programming today, it's the time to come with a new project, a complete project. As you can see here, we have a machine or a line production for a silo. In this silo, you can see the box coming from the left and the stop at the uh, filling station. And then after filling, it goes to the end of the uh, uh, conveyor and then the next box is coming and the cycle continue to the end. Click start, the process start, click stop, it is it can stop at any time and start again, stop, start, and so on. And you can see here the uh, flags or a uh, lamp indicator, the lamp indicator here showing the running process, filling when it is filling and the fall when reaching to fall. And you can see many, many, many controls. So there is inputs here, input button, push button to start, input push button to stop, uh, output like this indicator lamp, like uh, this uh, this uh, uh, sensor the, as input to sense the level of the uh, filling liquid in the box, and also output like the motor that drives the uh, conveyor, and so on. A lot of inputs, a lot of outputs, and the process itself. So now I visited the place. My client asked me to do this logic and showing me this video. So what I'm gonna do? So I'm starting with, uh, first of all, starting from the beginning, like this is the, uh, like this is the, uh, so starting here with the exploring the project after receiving the requirement from the, uh, your customer and ask you the uh, requirement and uh, how operation is working manually to implement it uh, to be uh, automated and and by looking into the uh, scene of the project you can list the input and output this is the next step so the IOS here you can see the run okay which is the output indicating a uh, lamp to showing the processes running fail indicate indicator lamp lamp to showing the uh, filling process to the uh, bottle is uh, or the box is uh, in process in the fall when it reaches to the uh, uh, default status so uh, indicator lamp showing a full uh, indicator and also the uh, output of the motor which uh, used to drive the uh, conveyor and the valve uh, which is open and closed to uh, let the uh, box to be filled and the start and stop this is the input to start the process and so stop the process at any time and lever sensor to show the uh, level of the filling process and the indicating uh, when it reached to the uh, full capacity uh, and also proximity switch which is used to uh, indicating the uh, position at which the uh, box should be filled to open the uh, valve and to stop the uh, box and open the valve. So this is the I/O that we need. And the next step is to uh, uh, drawing the logic. Uh, this is my style in programming, and the, and it's your uh, uh, way to uh, some people. Uh, just uh, getting the uh, requirement and uh, starting with writing code but to me I I have to uh, or I I see it's better to uh, make a, a flowchart to the process and based on this flowchart uh, I can uh, write in the code so here this is a flowchart I'm saying like start by starting the the process hitting the uh, start push button and the, I'm asking is a start so uh, is a start hit it by hit by the uh, operator yes if a stop I will say a yes or no so if a stop is hit so I will uh, uh, bypass the running process otherwise I I will go to a run and the, the run meaning I will uh, uh, activate the uh, or energize the motor for driving the uh, conveyor to let the uh, box uh, move to the position of filling station and then the asking is it fill if it is filling so I'm um, checking the uh, level switch 
otherwise if it is not feeling so i will run the motor okay and and i will ask myself is it run if it's still running so i keep running otherwise i will stop so uh, then if, if if it is stopped at the uh, by the proximity switch so i will check the uh, level switch uh, and the, if the level switch uh, uh, like level switch is uh, uh, is 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 uh, active so that means i will check the uh, proximity and and go into fill the process uh, and uh, if it is not full so i will open the valve if it is full i will close the valve so then moving after listing the ios and listing the flowchart i i can move to the program so let's move to the program and describe the line of code i have written to uh, implement this code so this is the process on the left showing the video and the, so let's stop this one and go through the program to see so here in the program it is very easy i started with like uh, uh the this is the the start so if the start is is heated and there is no stop which is uh, uh, this one uh, the uh, uh, uh start the process and there is no stop this this one okay because it is normally closed and if it is like uh, normally closed meaning without hitting the uh, stop button it will be energized or closed but if it is hit it will be open the cycle so the, the cycle will stop you can find this one uh, everywhere to showing a, a stop is hit so here uh, the if you, if you if you can see here uh, so uh, this is the start and then uh, no stop so the motor is running and i'm latching the motor here i will uh, also discuss why i i latching the motor this is another way to let the motor continue this is because when i reaching to the fall uh, it, it will continue running but but for now is the motor will running by start and no stop and also uh, it, it will uh, it will stop uh, when the proximity switch and the full status uh, is a uh, full status is, is is there so the motor will run uh, the other way to to showing the uh, other output for indicator lamp lamp so here this is the proximity and not full and the motor is stopped so i will say uh, this is for the uh, indicator lamp two and three and and this is also uh, when uh, when it reached to the uh, proximity which is uh, stopped here by indicating the proximity and also i i am reaching to uh, input i4 i4 this meaning the level sensor so level sensor meaning when it uh, it, it, it is uh, uh, closed that means it reaching to the fall position so the fall indicator is running and here again start and q22 that means uh, and no stop that means I will uh, run this uh, Q22, which is the uh, the valve, to open for starting the fill position. Uh, this is the whole program. It's very simple, but uh, if it is uh, complicated for you, that's that's because uh, this is the first time. So I I hope you uh, like uh, compare the uh, logic in the uh, flow chart here I have made here in this slide and go through the line of code here to compare uh, each step based on the uh, flow chart i made uh, before writing any line of code and the other thing also i want to do is to like uh, like uh, 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 stop the video at any time and writing this code line by line and and watching the process to uh, make yourself uh, completely familiar with the uh, logic of the program and enjoying the simulation and the implementation of a complete project. Uh, so in the two, three minutes remaining, uh, let's say running the code again and see here you can notice the process. I can stop the process at any time. So when I stop the process here, you can notice like if i stop the process here like this so you will see this one i stop the process like this okay so i stop the process so 
because I, I, I stopped the process. So you can see here why the motor is not running because you can see this pass by proximity because proximity is, 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 is here. That means uh, it's okay to run and also it is not full, but this one is okay. And this is the start, which is already uh, there. And, and here I, I don't have the start. The motor is not latched and no fall so the stop make makes the things like uh, prevent the latching so it need another start to, to to running so here when i started here again you can see you can see the motor okay the motor if you concentrate here the motor were running either start is there latching from the motor or the full status reach it okay uh, for the uh, other output, uh, this this output, I, I will show you this. This is the filling indicator, okay? So this is filling indicator, which is uh, the filling indicator here, uh, uh, two four, okay? Two one and two two uh, two three, two three, which is the filling process, not full process. And the full process here, as you can see. Uh, instant, 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 uh, like instant, mostly uh, uh, indicated here when reaching to the fold position. Notice the the light here, and the last one, which is the run process. So the run process all the time is com continue. Other, otherwise, no stop hit it. So if you uh, hit stop, so now this one. Is not working because it needs stop or latch okay it needs stop or latch that's why it's not working okay so when I, I start it again it will continue the process until stop is hit so if I make this a stop that means this one the stop will stop the cycle thank you for watching and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this complete project and I hope also you uh, repeat this line of code yourself and checking the uh, with uh, your simulator uh, the logic is correct and uh, and I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.